So now that we have reviewed your C chord, F chord, and G7 chord, we are going to learn a song with that. And the song I'm thinking about um, teaching you today is called Oh When the Saints Go Marching In. So here's the sheet music that Ellie? is also in your um, also in your binder. I have to share the screen before I pull up the PowerPoint. So here it is. So here it is. And this is bigger so you could see. And I'm going to tell you what it is. All of those pink lines is for your left hand to play the C chord block. So basically, when the right hand plays the melody, which you see here, then the left hand will play on beat two, beat three, and beat four, as there are only four beats per bar. Then it will play here while the right hand is still taking a rest. Yes, you see the rest there? So basically, your right hand is playing open. Oh, sorry. Open the sounds. And then your left hand will be playing C chord. One, two, three, four of them. And the right hand continues. Go marching in, and then the left hand plays. How many of these C chord? One, two, three. One more on the next line. So four C chord again. Then the right hand continues. Oh, when the saints. But this time the left hand only plays once. Go. Then the left hand plays once. March. Left hand plays once. Marching. Left hand plays once. In. And the left hand plays the green chord, which is the G chord. You see it on top, the G chord symbol, so let, let your hand find a G7 that we talked about and go G, 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 and one more on the third line, bar nine. See the bar numbers? Nine. Then the right hand will play, Lord, how I want, then the right, the left hand has to play a pink chord, which is C chord. So these basically pink lines is just to help you to know when the left hand should be playing. Basically, left hand is playing when the right hand's not playing. Uh, and a blue chord, of course, is F chord, as you see the chord symbol F here. So after you finish, of course, with the melody in the right hand, F chord two times, and if you look ahead, there's another one. But then I wrote a rest. So nobody plays. No right hand, no left hand. You have to say shh or rest at that point, because there are two beats. The first beat is the left hand playing the chord. And then you go shh, then the right hand continues. When the saints, then the left hand has to revert back to the same chord. Right hand um, plays go, left hand C chord, march, C chord, G, G chord, green. And also you see the symbol on top. And then in, and it's C chord that you should have for that point. So this is how chords are written. What you see is the chord symbol, and it's usually written um, at the beginning of the bar. And if it's written at the beginning of the bar, another option would be not to play the way I wrote the pink and the blue and the green, but just to play it at the beat one. So the easier, perhaps, I don't know if it's easy or not, is to just play your C chord right here in the left hand on beat one, and then just hold it. But let me tell you, that's the boring, boring version, because then, you know, there's no rhythm to it. And this is a rhythmic song, so the left hand should be playing the way I wrote it for you, okay? The, the, the prerequisites for playing this song is that your left hand knows your chords very well. If I call up F chord, you can play right away. If I call up G7 chord, you can play the green chords right away. And only then can you focus on your right hand and left hand being, you know, on time or with each other. So we're going to practice this way. We're going to practice, and let me um, um, change my camera so that you are practicing how to sing the song and yet play your chords on time. And let me um, leave the sharing screen and hopefully you could see my hand on the keys big enough. Um, let me see. Yeah, well, this is the biggest I could have it for you. And what you do is instead of playing the right hand, you just sing. Oh, when the saints. And notice how fast I go. It's not 
that fast. Oh, when the saints left, 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 go marching in. Left, left, left. Next slide. Left. Oh, when the saints left, go silver, march silver, ching silver, in G7. because it's easier to end the song on beat one. So just add one more C chord here for me. So I would practice a lot singing um, or just saying the words, but notice that I was doing it right on time. So let me tell you, right on time, some of you uh, have a hard time with that, keeping a pulse. So please do use your metronome. So do you remember, we have an app that I asked you to download, yeah? And here it is on my iPad. Let me find it. It's, where is it? The clock, oh, here it is. Here it is. And here is it at 40. How do I adjust the volume? How come it's so soft? Difficulty. Oh, here it is. So I was playing at around, I think I was playing at around 60, maybe. Dun, dun. Dun, tap, 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 tap. Oh, I was playing fast. I was playing at um, yeah, I was playing fast for you. So it was 76 or so, 74. And I will slow it down now for you to learn the melody. But the chords, I think you should practice until you you can play your chords at 74 or 76. Okay. And how do I stop it now? Stop it. Cancel. So now we're let, we're gonna learn how to read the melody. So you should always um Memorize middle C. Here it is middle C. Let me write it in green. We already have green. Lime green. This is middle C that you need to remember. So you should be able to recognize here it is again, middle C. When you're like after your left hand. Here it is again, middle C. This is what happens a lot when we're learning a song is we finish um, an, a long note like this note, a whole note or this note. We get to the other line and we don't know where we are. So after this note to the third line, you do that note. And I would recommend if you're gonna write the name of the notes, write it for the beginning of each line because most books have your phrases that way. One phrase is like one sentence, um, like a breath. The singer would take a breath. And so you take a breath and you go, oh, what is that note? And it makes you slow down and hesitate. So I would write the name and then you start recognizing that, oh, well, most of the time it's either middle C or E, right? So I'll leave it there for you now. The other one that I recommend for you, those of you who are just learning how to um, read steps and skip, is to identify all your skips. And the rest, leave it alone. That way you know from here to here, we skip a key. Then that's the next key, then that's the next key. No worries. Middle C, we skip a key again. The next key, next key. Here is another skip. 
Oh, these are all skips. I'm skipping from line note to line note. And that line note down to middle C, it's still a skip. And here is another skip. So then with the highlighter, you can help yourself read the, the notes better if all of your skips are already done and the rest are just the next key, right? So do that when you print this out and I'm sharing the PDF and uh, you'll play this song in no time. So I'm gonna play really slow um, and have my right hand. And so try to keep it up with me. We're gonna count a lot because when we have these long notes, whole note, we have to go two, three, four because that note has four beats and then here's a rest. And so I would go rest because I'm ignoring all the vertical lines. That's for the left hand. I'm looking at the notes that's written for the right hand, right? So ignore all the vertical lines because that was for your left hand to play. So here it is. Let me approach the laptop so I can control the mouse with my left hand. Here we go. Still cannot control it very well. Okay. So the right hand is on middle C. I'm on middle C, one finger for each thing, um, key, the five got uh, screwed up. So I'm going to start from the beginning, just because my internet connection got screwed off. And I don't know how the recording will be basically recorded. So let's go back and play the right hand for all winter sings. One, two, wait, I need a little, a little spotlight. So you can follow along with where I am on the score. One, two, three, four, rest. C, skip, step, two, step. Two, three, four, rest. C again, skip again. say tie and not repeat the note right remember rest and then step up step up two skip down two skip down to c two step up two and finally c finish. two three four and we're done so now i'm going to do it without sharing um, the screen and see if you could just imitate me by seeing my um, um, my hand better, right? Here we go. See one more time. One, two, three, four. Rest. See. Skip up. Step up. Step up. Two, three, four. There's a rest, and we repeat that. See. Skip up. Two, 
to uh, part of the video, you can kind of control, right? So how do I do the two hands together? Well, uh, at some point, you're gonna have to print that out from the PDF I share. And then what I would do is just tap the left hand first where your um, right hand is supposed to, you know, have a rest. So if you look at the score, instead of actually playing those chords that you practice alone, I would just tap, 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 tap the left hand, just so that the two hands are coordinating together, but the left hand doesn't have to worry about what chord to play. So here it is again. So the I'm going to play the right hand, but the left hand will just tap. One, two, three, four, rest. C, step, step. repeat so skip that and four taps one two three four and we repeat again speed and that's really important that's why you need to focus on rhythm and get the tap correctly not just to do the taps because you want to do the taps you know so this is much better than practicing say because I could do it and I have four taps one two three four uh, because it's not having the rhythm at all so be patient and practice the way I did it and eventually you can actually play the chords instead of the tap and the color really help you transition. Um, you know, you see different color, you know, oh, that's a different chord. So again, green color is the G7, blue color will be the F, and the pink color is the C. So I hope that you have your music in front of you for this part, um, and you can watch the video while you're doing it with me. Here we go. We're really putting it together. So I would suggest you do the right hand alone first, Repeat that until you could do it about two, three, four, rest. Together, you might even do that with the tap tap. 
But when I actually play everything, like the chords and the notes in here, I would go like almost double slow. So we were going at this speed, right? So I would go at that speed. stop you can rewind you can um you can keep doing your song the way it's supposed to be okay so there's a way to practice that i would like you to get used to it do repeat quite often the right hand until you get fast do repeat all your chords in the left hand until you get really fast and only then i would do hands together so let me switch back the camera so I hope that you are um, pausing the video, right? Repeat, repeat, repeat with the video and with the music in front of you, because that way you're associating reading music and it's a song you know. So this is song, I think, number four in the folder of cheat sheets for beginner students. Um, and it's a song that a lot of people know. So I hope you have fun with this song. 